So, what's next? Hello, and welcome back. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've made a video on YouTube, and you know, I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little strange talking to a camera again. Coincidentally, I'm wearing my University of Westminster pullover, and we're not in London anymore. So, let's do a little bit of catching up, because it's been around a month. So, what happened after that Paris trip? Well, I actually finished my study abroad classes. It was a great experience. It was a lot of fun, I learned a lot. And those actually finished mid-April, so I was pretty much done for a good portion of April and also May. And once those classes ended, and after I went to Paris, I actually went to Iceland with my mom. And here is a little montage of that. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Going to Iceland was very refreshing. It was something that I really needed at the time because I was just super confused on what I wanted to do. After taking a lot of design courses abroad, I realized that design was something that I was really interested in and that it was something that I really wanted to pursue during the summer. Going to Iceland was very well needed for me. I had a lot of time to think about my career, my life, a lot of things that, you know, sometimes you just need to step away from life and think about so that you actually get a better understanding of where it is you want to go towards life and where it is you want to take the next step in. So after Iceland, I was only in London for a couple of more weeks and during that time I actually shot a collaboration video with my friend Ishi. This is my friend from the UK. Ishi, introduce yourself. Hi everyone, it's Ish. Ishi is a graphic design student at the University of Westminster and he's also a content creator on Instagram and recently just started his YouTube channel. So it was quite an adventure shooting with him. Valid is nice. Valid is nice, uh-huh. Oh! Like that's valid. Oh! That's nice. Uh, what does the term glizzy mean? Glizzy? Is it nice? Is that very shiny? But unfortunately his computer died on him and he pretty much almost lost all of his information, if not all of it. And it was quite sad because we were supposed to edit this video together and post at the same time and kind of shout each other out, you know, that kind of fun stuff. But unfortunately that never got around to happening. But yeah, that was pretty much the end of my London experience. So now, after London, I was super pumped to go back home to New York because, let's be honest, I missed my city.
So that was my two weeks in New York. I had a lot of fun. I, I really wanted to just, my intention going back home before I started my internship was because I really needed to just ground myself with the New York City energy again. I missed my home, I missed my friends, I missed just the energy that New York brought. I can't really compare London to New York. And a lot of people kind of ask me like, how was London compared to New York? Something about New York is just, feels like home. And because I lived there for basically 20 years of my life, it's always brought back these great memories, these moments and bits of energy that I don't think I can find anywhere else. I just, it's, I don't think it's comparable. You know, I just, I'll always have a bias towards New York being one of my favorite cities in the world. Actually, my favorite city in the world. So it was, it just felt like coming back to a warm, safe place, even though New York is loud and dirty. But it felt nice being back home. It felt really great just being around people that, you know, cared about me. And that's something that I really needed. However, I wasn't planning on staying in New York for the entire summer. Of course, for those of you guys that have been following me for a while now, you know that I accepted a software engineering internship at Microsoft based in Redmond, Washington, which is pretty close to Seattle. After spending a couple weeks in the city, I was eager and ready to move into yet another new city. So I moved to Seattle to start my software engineering internship at Microsoft. I am actually based in the Bellevue office, so I work in downtown Bellevue. And honestly, it's been nothing but good vibes here. Great weather, awesome views, even though it's been pretty much just trees and a couple of buildings here and there, but it's been such a great time. But now, here's the catch. There's a video on this channel where I accept my software engineering internship in person, in the flesh. I wanted to also share with you guys that today I will be signing my Microsoft return offer as a software engineering intern for summer of 2022. And you know, that's what I thought I was doing. I firmly believed that I would be doing some software engineering under the Teams organization, so Microsoft Teams. But it's kind of crazy to think that somehow, some way, fate kind of had it in store for me that I would be not doing software engineering this summer. As a matter of fact, uh, I wouldn't be coding this summer. If I'm not mistaken, I am the first person to go from the Microsoft Explore internship, which is a software engineering and program management internship, to a completely design-focused internship. And pretty much, I'm allowed to say that I'm a UX design intern at Microsoft this summer. It kind of caught me off guard, yeah. I got emotional a little bit during my first day when my manager told me that he pushed for a design project. But as you guys know on this channel, I've been talking about how much I am interested in design, how much I feel like I belong in the design world. It's kind of like fate had it in store for me where I managed to do some design at Microsoft. And that's, 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 that's kind of crazy to me because I was supposed to do my time this summer at Microsoft just doing a software engineering internship and then try to do a discipline change in UX design. But you know, life works in pretty crazy ways. I couldn't be more happy. I actually just today got my project. It's been a week and a half since I moved here and I finally got my project. It is very interesting. It's very fun. It is unique and new and I'm all about new. So. What's next? I will be doing UX design this summer at Microsoft. I will be living in Seattle. I will be living here for the next three months. I have been driving a lot and it has been definitely different from London and from New York, of course. But I will be living in Seattle and I'll be learning how to be an adult again. Just like I was in London, but now in the States again. Far away from home, but still in the US. And the best part is I'll be taking you guys with me. I'm super excited to be here in this new city. I'm gonna turn this camera around really quickly so you guys can see my view because it's super bright and it's on my eyes and they kinda hurt because I've been staring at a screen for the past eight hours. So my eyes are a little tired, that's probably why I'm squinting a little bit, but I just wanna show you this this view. It's 
It's beautiful. My hotel room, I will give you a tour. That's another video saved for you guys for the Microsoft interns of the future that are taking corporate housing. I will make that video for you guys. But yeah, this is a new me. This is a new chapter. You know, I just wanted to try something new and this is everything this summer is new. And the best thing you can do is always bring in new stuff. Bring in a new experience, new people, a new topic. Just find something that you're not used to and go for it. Just, just try it. Do it. I'm really excited. I'm really happy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am incredibly grateful and eager to share this journey with you. Something that I am passionate about that I don't know a lot about actually, but I'm interested and I'm comfortable being uncomfortable with it. I'm going to wrap this video up because I'm hungry right now, but this was just an update about what's next because this next chapter is going to be really good. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are in the world. I started to think about a new end phrase for the videos and I've realized that something that is super important to me that I've really taken to heart is when people believe in other people, when people believe in me and I believe in other people. And so I'm going to end this video off by saying that I hope and I implore you to believe in others, but most importantly, I implore you to believe in yourself. Take care. Peace out.